Yo, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you literally how to get pink joggers. So that is why you want to watch the whole video every single minute of the video so you don't miss a single step. Also, if you're new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe button with the bell icon turned on so you don't miss a future video. Also, follow my Twitter at YTVenomPlay so you're always kept up to date with the channel and a like in today's video would be greatly appreciated. Also, shout out to this amazing person on screen right now. If you'd like a shout out in a future video, all you have to do is comment hashtag VenomPlays and I'll be sure to shout you out in a future video. As well, make sure to join the Discord GTA Hub as that way you can literally find a bunch of people to actually help you with a bunch of these here videos on the channel. And yeah, now all out of the way, let's get right into the video. Just before this video does go on the start, I'd like to give a quick shout out to the sponsor. So if you're looking for the best GTA 5 cash rank, money, anything like that there, account services wise, then make sure to check out Digizani. Digizani literally has the best modded accounts, services, all that there stuff for any console that you do want. As well, make sure to use code VENOMPLAYS on checkout for 5% off your order. Also, if you're looking for daily giveaways to take a part in, then make sure to head over to Gaming Giveaways by Digizani. So basically these here are daily raffles that you can go ahead and enter into where you can win a bunch of different prizes like uh, GTA services and in the future there is going to be Xbox Series X's, PS5's, gaming PCs, all that insane crazy stuff. So why not head over to Gaming Giveaways and be sure to enter up into them raffles. Now let's get into the video. So the first thing you want to do is simply make your way to the clothes store and go ahead and remove everything but the joggers. So you just want to remove any tops you may have, any hats, masks, anything like that. You just want to go ahead and remove every single item but leave the joggers. That is the only thing you need on the actual outfit itself to actually start this here glitch. Now all you want to do is go on to save the outfit to either your 18th, 19th or 20th slot. Now when saving the outfit, you want to call it C1. Once you've gone ahead and saved the outfit as C1, then back out and make your way over to the pants section within the clothes store. From there, this is where the crucial part comes in to whatever component you put on is whatever color joggers you do want. So I'll leave a link down in the description down below on all the different components to get the different colored joggers. For me, I'm actually wanting the white joggers, so I'm gonna put on the purple uh, shorts and then all you want to do from there is go on to save it in either your 19th or 20th slot if you did use C1 as your 18th slot. Now you just want to call this one C2. Now once you've gone ahead and saved the outfit as C2, then switch back to your C1 outfit of the tan joggers and then simply put on a Israel parachute as well as glasses. And if you look at the bottom right hand corner, you will actually see it orange circle. That's how you know you have done it correct. Now you want to go to net cut. And then once you're in Netcart, you just want to find your IP. Now if you do not know where your IP is, simply make your way over to Xbox and then go to settings and then go to the general and then down in network settings you will find advanced settings and then that is where you will find your IP. Now all you want to do from there is then go back to Netcart and then you just want to set your bandwidth to 5, then make sure you change the M bit to actually K bit and then you just want to set the incoming to 7500. Now once you've done that, now you press the Wi-Fi icon to actually lag your game. Then what you want to do is make sure you keep moving in game, so easily just put an elastic band around your controller. Now this is where you want to switch over to console 2. Now once you have made your way onto console 2, simply load into story mode. Now once you are in fact in story mode, then all you want to do is simply go on to hit start. Then you just want to go to online and then just start up an invite only session. Now once you do in fact load into an invite only session, then all you want to do is go style and then just select the C2 outfit and then from there simply put on a parachute and a glasses to that way you will then get the orange circle actually down at your bottom right. Now once you have got that, simply then just go back to story mode and once you're in the clouds then just simply quit your game. Now go back to net cut and then from there go on console 1 and set the incoming to 0 and then change K bit back to M bit. And then you just want to set the bandwidth to unlimited and then use netcut to reconnect your connection. 
Now what you want to do is go on to actually remove the parachute as well as the glasses to actually get the orange circle. Now for me, whereas I could not even see the orange circle because of how bright the pavement was down at the bottom right, so simply just go ahead and re-equip it and uh, then unequip it to actually get the orange circle if you're like me and they're somewhere bright and you could not see it if it did in fact go through. So simply then just go once you have removed the glasses and the parachute and you have the orange circle then all you want to do from there is simply go back to story mode. Now once you are in story mode then all you want to do from there is start up an invite only session and then simply go on to join that invite only session by going online, play online and then start up an invite only session. Now when you do load into the invite only session, if you've done it all correctly, you will actually have the white joggers or whatever other colour joggers you did in fact choose. And yeah that's it, you can literally keep doing this to get any single joggers that you do want, as the director mode was patched, so this is the best way actually around to getting the joggers in GTA 5 online. The only downside is, you actually need two consoles for this, but if you have a friend that you solely trust, then you and him can literally do this with each other very very easy so that way you don't have to have two consoles you can literally just keep using your friends and then vice versa so yeah you can literally do a bunch of different components with this here Beth glitch so you can literally make insane outfits very very easy the only time it, the only thing is it does take ages when actually doing multiple components as you can see here I've actually done this outfit with the Beth glitch so yeah, like if you watch a tutorial on other outfits as well, then be sure to let me know down in the comments and I will try to get them out for you guys in future videos. And yeah, that's it for today's video. If you are going to enjoy it, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new and Venom plays. Peace.